All right, so we're out in the line today. We've got a coyote here in a set. We'll talk about the set here in a minute. I'm going to get it put down, and then we'll talk about the set a little bit before we go on. You're in a perfect position to get put down. Stay right there, mister. Rest in peace. All right, so that probably took 10 seconds. He's done. He's got a little bit left in him, but he ain't gonna. He's just at the end of it now. So we're gonna, you can see this trap caught him right on the pad. I'll get this camera up a little closer. I'll show you here in a minute. It caught him right here on the front pad, right between the toes. It's exactly where it's supposed to catch him. If I let this thing go, he would have ran off like nothing happened to him. There's absolutely no damage to his foot whatsoever. It caught him right between the pads, just like it was catching him right there. It's exactly the way that trap's supposed to catch. Now, what I had right here was I had a deer leg that was laying here. I don't see it anymore. He's probably destroyed it. But there was a piece, there it is right here. There was a piece of an old chewed up deer leg laying underneath this pine tree when I drove up here to scout this area. And I thought, you know what? Something's been up here laying here chewing on this bone. I'm gonna put a set in here. So I put a set right here and laid the bone right beside the set took about a week to get this coyote but finally got him so again we'll do a reset here in a little while get him out of here and check the rest of the line all right so we got a bobcat out here on the line we're gonna take a sled and let him go and i'll explain to you a little bit about why we're using a sled to let him go here in just a minute because he's not a real big bobcat you think probably there's not much bigger than a large extra large house cat but you don't want to noose this thing to let him go because he's caught in the front paw. We'll talk about that in a minute. All right, so we've got this cat underneath the sled. We're just gonna lift the sled up, use the block. Cat's gonna run away. See you later, nothing to it. Okay, so real quick on this, the reason we use the sled to let him go instead of snaring him around the neck, pulling that trap off his foot like we do with the fox, things like that that we've released earlier in this series. If he was caught in the back foot, I could stretch him out and let him loose and not get tore up by the cat. But cats are going to try to claw you. So with him being caught in the front foot, to snare him and try to get it off his front foot, them back legs are coming up, claws out, and you're gonna get shredded. So you're better off using something you can put over the top of the animal to make him feel fairly secure and in the dark. A bucket if you've got a small kitten, or something like a sled if you've got a larger cat works the best for me. Okay guys, I thought what we'd do real quick while we're out on the trap line today is, I want to talk to you a little bit about the firearm that I carry on the trap line. Now, a lot of times I'll just carry the Ruger 22 Wrangler, which is in my pack basket here at the bottom. And it is just a 22 caliber, six shot, 22 long rifle, single action pistol. And it's a good gun to carry on the trap line because it's an easy gun to put animals down with. It's convenient to carry. It's like 200 bucks for a Ruger firearm, so you're getting a lot of quality for your money, and it works really well. But a lot of times I also carry the M6 series takedown, and I've done videos for years on the M6 Scout by Springfield Armory, and I also did a video on the new TPS Arms model of the M6. What's different about this particular M6 is, this one is 357 Magnum 410, instead of 22 long rifle over 410. However, because it's 410, I can use a short lane arms 410 to 22 adapter and just store it right in the magazine well with my 410s, and there's my 357s. And now I have a much more versatile firearm that's light enough to carry on the trap line, small, compact, it folds down, all those types of things. Single shot capability, which is all you really need. But I can hunt anything from small game to deer, 
to putting down animals on a trap line with the same firearm. And so that gives me a lot of versatility. And because I have that 22 caliber adapter, it's using the same ammunition that my handgun or my 22 revolver is already using, which makes a lot of sense as well. If you were in a bigger game area with larger predators, you were carrying a 357 sidearm, again, you've got a matching firearm to that because this is capable of shooting 357. So it's a really, really good option. TPS Arms is a good company. They've always done right by me. So I just wanted to kind of go over that firearm with you and the Ruger Wrangler with you today. In this trap line series, we're talking about a couple catches and things like that. We put an animal down. I wanted to talk to you about all those things so that we get them out in this series as well. Guys, I appreciate you joining me for this video today. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video in this free trapper's journal as soon as I can, guys. Thanks.